Welcome back to another episode on Beho Reviews in Gaming and Entertainment. Today we take a look at a special system dear to my heart as it was the very first system I ever owned, the Sega Master System. With the Nintendo Entertainment System owning the entire video game market at the time, Sega decided to join the fray with their own 8-bit console. This was a special time for me as I was growing up, I never knew the difference in the name brand of video games until my mother purchased, on sale, I might add, Sega's game system to compete with the big N. The system itself featured enhanced visual capabilities to Sega's older consoles as the Master System was the third generation of 8-bit consoles from Sega themselves with the SG-1000 and the SG-1002. Similar in design, the Master System still incorporated two different types of software from cartridge to credit card size formats known to be the Sega cards. The Sega Master System was developed and released by Sega in Japan in 1985, the US in 1986, and 1987 for Japan's updated model and Europe, and then finally in Brazil in 1989, who still continues to sell the system. Japan would receive an advanced model in 1987 for a dedicated port for the 3D glasses and an FM audio chip that produced a higher quality in audio for the machine. Although more advanced than their competitor, the Nintendo Entertainment System, with their release in 1985, Sega had little chance in capturing the market with but two people in charge of marketing for the entire U.S. market. Later, with poor sales, Sega sold the rights to toy company Tonka, who had no experience in electronic entertainment systems at the time. By 1987, the Master System sold more poorly than anticipated, with Nintendo dominating most parts of the world and with Tonka blocking several localizations of popular Japanese developed games. It didn't help their cause as well. The system would have a few successes here and there with reports of popular arcade games made by Sega themselves like Space Harrier, Shinobi, and of course my all-time favorite, Afterburner. Displeased with Tonka, Sega reacquired the marketing and distribution of the Master System and in 1990 released the Sega Master System 2, which it was designed to be a lower cost without the card reader for Sega cards. Still selling poorly even with a boost for the Sega Genesis, the Master System would be discontinued in 1992 selling roughly about 1.5 to 2 million units in the US. The last US release game was Sonic the Hedgehog in 1991. The Master System garnered much more support in Europe and Brazil, where the system dominated the market in the 1990s, bringing out more games like Sonic the Hedgehog 2, Mercs, and Streets of Rage. Even in Brazil, where Tectoy handled all the distribution, they were able to garner similar marketing ploys like Nintendo did by when they created the US-like Master System Club and presented master tips during commercial breaks of popular television shows. Brazil loved their system so much that Tectoy continued to distribute a more compact system, the Master System 3, where their annual sales alone would rival modern day systems like the PlayStation 4 as of 2016. The highest library supported for the system remains in Brazil, accounting for 8 million of the 13 million worldwide sales of the system itself. Although a failed system in the US, the technology helped bring about the Sega's portable system, the Game Gear, which was able to play all of the Master System games with an adapter as the internal system was basically the same. Like I said before, I enjoyed the system in 1987 to 1990 as the system and games seemed to be always on sale due to Nintendo's dominance. I picked up many, many games and played to my heart's content. Only reason to leave the system was in fact that Nintendo had a lock on the market and just had too many more great games that I also had to play. Here are my favorite games list that I still love playing even today.
That's it for me on the look back at the Sega Master System. Please like and subscribe if you like my videos. Beho out and Greg, take us out of here, and I will see you all next upload.